Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well, this one is a do not video. You bought a brand new PC and you are going to buy a brand new Windows 11 PC. Things not to do. This video is going to be only one, but I will uh, enumerate several things not to do. So first of all, you go and buy it. Do not take any antivirus offer that they're going to actually sell you. Do not take extended warranties. They are useless for the most part. Computers last a pretty long time today and extended warranties are um, pretty much never used and have all sorts of caveats that, you know, you can't fix this or that is not included or this is not going to be done. It's not worth it. These are ways they actually are making money with your computer. You got the computer. Okay. You can follow the videos, the series that I did on what things you're going to do. But resist the temptation of downloading and installing every single piece of software you might have seen or have on an older PC. Think thoroughly of what exactly you need on your computer and stay with the bare minimum that your computer will need for you to be functional and everything will be all right. There are things you don't need that you needed in the past and you need to learn about that. For example, you do not need a PDF reader. Um, browsers are actually great at showing PDFs. Microsoft Edge is actually, in my opinion, the best PDF reader around. So there are software you do not need anymore. Um, Resist the temptation of downloading anything that says it's going to speed up your PC or optimizers. CCleaner, I'll repeat it a million times, is useless. You don't need that on a computer. The less you install, the less of all of these software you'll have to deal with, the more your PC is going to run fast, the less you're going to have problems. People that have problems on their PCs are people that have too much software installed. I can tell you that 9 out of 10 people complaining about Windows crashing, being slow, are people that install tons of software in Windows and they then go crazy over you know Microsoft and Windows itself because they say it's crap, when in reality, they're the ones creating the problem with all the software that they actually installed and they think it's absolutely fantastic to install all of them. You do not need any of that. Stay with the bare minimum. And that is going to be a good working PC. And just make sure that you do not, you know, handle it a little too hard. Just make sure that you, if it's a laptop, do not leave the laptop on a soft surface, a couch, uh, a, a chair cushion, because the soft surfaces will block all the vents where the air flows going through. I don't know how many people that called me and had either burned up PCs because of leaving them on a chair or on a couch, or they don't know why their PC shuts down. And when you start talking, you realize, well, that's because you're leaving it. Uh, you know, there, there's no air flowing you're, where you, you put it. The air can't flow. And it's the same for a desktop. Leave it a few inches all around to make sure the airflow goes through. And of course, clean it up from time to time to make sure the vents are okay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.